Hello and welcome to the Aero-V engine assembly video series. I'm Joe Norris at Sonics Aircraft LLC. In this series of video segments, we are going to walk through the assembly of an Aero-V engine. We will be following the sequence called out in the Aero-V assembly manual. The manuals get updated much more often than the video series. So if there is a case where the manual and the video series disagree, your manual that came with your engine is the guide for you to follow. But in general, all of the steps that we have in the manual will be shown in the video series. We hope you enjoy the video series. We hope you enjoy putting together your Aero-V engine. And we look forward to seeing your airplane flying. We're ready to install some of our cover plates on the engine. There's various locations where there'll be some cover plates installed. I have them laid out on the table in front of me here. I'll talk about the locations. All of these are installed with uh, gaskets, uh, just paper gaskets. And again, you'll use your favorite gasket sealing material. Uh, fuel lube works. Uh, there's a product called Tight Seal, which is used in the aviation industry quite often. It's a real good product to use. Uh, some builders will use a silicone type uh, RTV sealer on these. Uh, you just want to use a, a thin coat. You don't want to put it on real heavy, but you do want to put some gasket sealer on there. And they're just installed for the most part with uh, cap screws and washers. So this cover plate uh, that's kind of shaped uh, a little rounder on one side than the other would go on this location here. You'd put your gasket on, put your cover plate on, and then uh, attach it with your cap screws. Uh, there's no specific torque limit on those, just snug them down so it looks like you get a good seal on your gasket and you'll be all set. Uh, next to that is your breather plate. That's this large red one here. It has a square gasket that goes with it. It will go right on there. Again, some gasket sealer on there. The breather plate goes on with the breather opening facing towards the flywheel. So you want to put it on in that location and then your breather hose or tube will come out of there. Four cap screws and washers go on there. Again, no specific torque limit. Just snug it down very nicely. Over on this side next to this uh, cover plate here is actually the distributor opening from the Volkswagen engine. Uh, we don't use a distributor on our engine, so we're actually using this hole as our oil fill hole. So we have a uh, cap that's made specifically to go in there for your oil fill. It has the capacity already etched in the top. It's just a double O-ring type seal on there. I would just put some uh, motor oil on there, just a thin coat, rub uh, some of your standard motor oil on there and just push it in the hole. They fit kind of tight at first, so make sure you lube them up good. Uh, it takes a little bit of twisting to get them worked out of there when you're first few times you open them, but they'll finally uh, seat in and, and uh, they'll seal tightly, but it'll be easy enough to remove with just a slight twist and a little pull. So just put some motor oil on there. Work our way down. Uh, our tube here on the side is our dipstick uh, location. Your engine comes with a pre-made dipstick. It's got a red uh, anodized cover and a flexible cable and then a straight uh, dipstick indicator on the bottom. You will calibrate this to your particular engine and installation uh, after you have the engine installed on the airframe. So for now, there's no markings on it. Doesn't have to be any. It just simply slides right down in there, tucks in, and you're all set with that. And you work your way down to the bottom down here, and there's one more cover that goes on in the front corner of your oil sump down here. It's actually called the oil temperature cover. It's a flat cover. It has a, it has a gasket that goes on it, a paper gasket. Again, some sealer on there. And then here's the cover. Now, if you're running the standard oil screen like we installed previously, uh, you'll run your oil temp probe in place of the oil plug on your oil screen location. So this cover will remain uh, blank like this. If you're going to run uh, the turbo engine with the larger capacity cleanable filter, which we call the mini sump on the bottom, you can't run the oil temperature probe in the mini sump because there's not room for the probe uh, with the filter in there. So you have to drill and tap this plate to accept your oil temperature probe. So uh, we have instructions in the uh, turbo manual that talks about how to uh, tap that. It's a metric tap that you'll need to uh, tap that out. But uh, if you're using the standard oil screen, your oil uh, temperature probe will go in the plug location and this uh, cover will go on there just like it is here. Those are put on uh, onto these studs with a couple of washers and some uh, self-locking nuts, which I have laid out on the table here. Uh, simply just snug those up again with some good gasket sealer on them 
and you'll be all set in that location. So those accessory covers are all on there and you'll be all set.